Welcome back to Brent Tang and Brent Barnett. Here we are at another kit hardware makeover. This is number 13. And for those of you that have been lagging and haven't seen the previous 12, this is how it works. You guys send me videos and pictures of your setup to brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com. And I choose one each episode to remake in my own way using Gibraltar hardware. So let's see who this month's drummer is. What is it with you guys in weird ways that you give me this name? Can it just be in an envelope or something? You, you threw a wad of paper at me last month. Not there. That's not it. You guys are wasting serious time. All right. I think this is it. Okay. Okay, we got it. Jan Herrera. So let's see what Jan's working with here. We've got a double bass set with two rack toms, 10 and 12 inch, and a 16 inch floor tom with a 14 inch snare. Now he's got a variety of cymbals, four crashes, a china, a ride, an auxiliary hi-hat, a splash, and then his main hi-hats. So let's look at how he has everything supported. Starting on his left hand side, he's got a, a, his secondary crash and main crash all mounted to stands. Now his rack toms are mounted to a tom stand that has an extra clamp in the back so he can mount his splash directly out of. His right main crash is mounted to its own stand and then his secondary right crash is mounted to its own stand. Then he's got a ride cymbal that's mounted to its own stand and also a china that is mounted to his own stand. So he's got a lot of stands working with here. So let's clean this up a bit. Okay, so I saw an opportunity here to clean up the floor space to make sure everything was in the same place every single time and to take less time to set this up. And I use this by doing a rack. So what I did was I created two racks that we moved, that we set right next to each other to make basically one rack. Now, this is a custom rack that I built, but it's really not that custom. I didn't cut any bars. All it is is a 46 inch curve bar on each side. The, the verticals are 20 inch, 20 inch straight bars and there's four T-leg assemblies. Now what's great about this is that since everything is just between two racks, you can set it on, you could set it up off stage and then bring it on stage with one other person or by yourself if you're strong enough. Um, and then all you have to do is just place your bass drums and you're ready to go. Okay, so starting from left to right, I have everything mounted to the crossbar. I've got my secondary left crash and my main crash mounted directly to the crossbar. Now I've got my 9707 no leg hi-hat stand that's mounted to the crossbar as well and I'm using the SC EA100 to connect it. My 10 inch tom is also mounted to the crossbar and then I have my splash that's mounted to the crossbar. So now on the right half of the kit I've got everything mounted to the rack as well. The 12 inch tom, then we have the right main crash, we have the right secondary crash, we have the ride cymbal, we have the china, and then also the auxiliary hi-hat which I'm using the SC4425XHMB to do that with. So the product highlights for this setup is the SCGPR46C, which is the 46 inch curve bar, the SCGPR20, which is a 20 inch straight bar, and the SCGCRQT, which is a T-leg clamp, and uh, the SCGCSQCLTLA, that's a good one for you, which is a quick release T-clamp, T-leg assembly, I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up with our own model numbers. The SCEA100, which is an extension arm with a clamp that I use to connect the, the no-leg hi-hat stand to the rack, and the SC4425XHMB, which is the mini boom with the X-hat. Well, that's it for this episode of Hardware Makeover. Jan, thank you so much for submitting your kit. I loved being able to mess with it. I like messing with things. But um, I hope you guys had a good time. I hope, it, I, I hope I gave you guys some insight on different ways that you can construct racks. There's plenty of ways to construct racks to help out with your setup and to make your life easier. So for those of you that still want to submit, please submit at brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com. And for those of you that have submitted, keep 
holding your breath because you might be next month. See you next time.